And we're back here in the Twin City Film Fest 10th year anniversary, red carpet sponsored by, uh, sp oh goodness, by Ballerspard. I'm just getting a little nervous because I have this amazing group of people next to me, so I apologize for that, but I have to introduce Well, thank you for having We're super excited to have you here. Well, thank you for having us. We're glad to be here with our hometown boy. Yes, it is my hometown. I'm very happy to come back and share this wonderful film with you all. We are very excited to see your film, but before we go there, please let's share with our audience what is about the film about? Just give us a little bit without giving it away. Okay. Um, so Scream Queen is the story of the gayest horror movie ever made and the actor's life whose career it ruined. Okay, now when can you elaborate a little bit about this and how sure. that impacted? Um, actually, the movie is about I'm the star of Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's right. Revenge, and it's the story of when the movie came out, uh, when the f my original movie came out, it was called the gayest horror movie ever. And it picked up a a reputation that was pretty uh, devastating for me. And I left show business very quickly after that. A while ago, I made another documentary called Never Sleep Again and went on the road with Comic-Con. And we filmed me on the road with Comic-Con as a sort of an epiphany into uh, the growth and learning that I had about this film and confronting some of the players who, the writer very specifically of the film, who had written it with a gay subtext but lied and said that he hadn't for many years. And so that's what the film's about. It's a lot of fun. Freddy Krueger's kind of the icing, but the cake is like a deep dive into politics, uh, spirituality, homosexuality, and HIV. Mm -hmm. So at what point you decide that their story had to be said? Because a lot of people, um, you know, that we watch the film original, I mean, we don't know what happened. So at what point you decided my story needs to be said? Well, the movie is very famous. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah uh, not, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 is very famous and has a, a life online that is outside a traditional horror movie. It has major groupies and fans all around the homosexuality. Um, and so as we began to have that conversation, uh, it just seemed right. We were making a, I intended to make a different movie in the beginning about many boys who had disappeared during like 1985, 1986, during the heights of the AIDS crisis. And but slowly but surely the movie became about me. I became the focus of it through these guys' eyes. And I just became the every man in the story. So it, when, you see, when you folks see the movie, you'll understand. It's, uh, it's about me, but it's really about anybody who's ever been bullied and gets to go back and correct the, uh, the injustice that was done to them. And that's the message yes. that you wanted to give out. Yeah, out sure. there. Mm -hmm. So tell us, with your, your director, co-director, co 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 right? Yes. Okay, what, how do you feel that you capture what was happening with Mark? I mean, was there anything that you wanted to bring up that it was not perhaps, you know, being reflected or, you know, any thoughts? Of, oh, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a Roman question. This, is, Roman. this really comes back to Mark being extremely open with his and very vulnerable and allowing us to just go along. It wasn't planned. A lot of this was just set out and, you know, you're driven by a fire and he allowed us to follow him. So it was surprising every time we'd get behind the camera, um, and I admire that a lot. Yeah, we, uh, well, there was a lot of serendipity. This took five years to make. It's not a. Uh, it's a very laden movie with a lot of uh, a, a lot of process in it. So, yeah, and it was also cut many, many, many times. So um, it's just holistically the way that it came out. And uh, when you see the film, I think everybody will understand that it's, uh, it's a beautiful ride. And uh, most people who see it and all the reviews, we haven't received a bad review yet, um, uh, are very moved by it. You know, whether they're straight, gay, man, woman, it doesn't matter, old or young. Well, I think anybody can relate sure. to what happened. Because right, being put down. Exactly. So 
Very good. Now, what are you doing with this film next? What's the journey we now with the film? We are in the middle of a 50 city tour right now. Uh, we're about halfway through the country. And then starting next month, we go international. And then after that, then it's a college tour. And then it's, you know, there's a lot of avenues. On to the next, to the next movie. Yeah, yeah, we we have many cool cities coming up. New York City will be in, in just a short while. And then uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, then my hometown, Mexico City, will be there. And then we're in Copenhagen last week, literally all over the world. So um, we're just packed our suitcases and we just go, you know, answer questions like this in every different city and, and we try to enjoy ourselves. How fun is that though? So this was a baby of five years. Uh, yes, five years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Even yeah. longer for you. You've been wanting to tell the story. For well, yeah, time. I mean, it's my whole life. So, you know, yeah. I mean, this is, it is my whole life in this movie. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been <laughs> what it is. Quite the journey. We, but we, by hook and crook, the three of us got it done. It was done by the three of us, and we are equal participants in it. And so we're very proud, you know, well, of what we've done. Thank you so much for being able to share your story because that takes a lot of courage. Not everybody does that, what? and it helps so many people. Oh, thank you. Well, God built me for it. That's the way I look at it. I mean, that's I feel like this is the this particular film is the reason that I feel like I made the first one. That was just the appetizer and it this is the story that I was supposed to tell. So here we are. We're going to tell it tonight here and hopefully everybody will love it. I'm sure we all will love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so, so much you. for being here. For Welcome us. back Thank here you. in your hometown. It's so Gracias. nice. A pleasure. Un placer. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet yeah. you. And to you all, this is a wrap for tonight. You need to check it out. Scream Queen. My Nightmare on Elm Street. We're actually we're having an encore showing Saturday night here at 9.30 due to popular demand. Well, you've heard it. Stay tuned. Take care. <laughs>